evening and welcome back to my channel this time I'm going to uh, refurbish me my key fobs for my Citroen as you can see they've seen seen better days that's all floppy <laughs> Now I went on eBay and I ordered a couple of new fob cases and a couple of stickers for them. So let's get this opened up. And these are my new fobs. So just take them out of the packet and you can see they look look better than actually I did change the uh, half of half of the fob that's the original Citroen fob that half and the other half was a, a new aftermarket when I bought them last year but well things seem better days so what I'll need to do is uh, take the innards out and swap them across to the new cases and I'll need to uh, Hopefully carry the blades across as well. Okay, I've got myself a, a flat bladed screwdriver, so I'll just take this apart. And you can see it's just dropped dropped apart. Just uh, get the battery out and the circuit board. Put them to one side, and then prise this apart. And it's just a matter of putting the putting the circuit board in. So let's see which way that goes. I think yep, that goes into there. Because yeah, this is this is the part with the buttons in and see the buttons are there's micro switches there. So that that'll go in to there like that. And then I need to uh, take this out. It's a thing for the battery. Just we can prise that out. No, that might not be happening. So it's been quite a few days later, and the problem I had with the uh, the new key fobs I bought. I'll show you, I'll show you what it is. I'll just pull this one apart. Find a suitable tool. Now, if you notice on there, there's a battery holder. Now. The, the new fobs I have didn't have this battery holder so what I've done is I've gone to Amazon and here's a package this is, this should be a, what I'm expecting so I'll just open it up it's got the address on the side so a bit of an unboxing as well and in here should be my uh, replacement fobs so let's get the trusty knife out and we'll cut, get this opened up and hopefully inside should be my replacement fobs <laughs> with battery holders so, yeah. that's what I'll just pull get one out and we'll get it opened up Uh, 
and sure enough it's got the battery holder in so that, that's, that's quite promising so if we just fold this one exactly and snap this one into place we need a small screwdriver or a similar implement try these tweezers they might be better Take his bat take the battery out and we're good that way. So that's our old fob. Just pull the circuit board out and it should just fit straight on. Now what I need to do is I need to uh, transfer me my blade across. So, you know, to save me having to get the key cut. So, I'll uh, get, some, get my pliers. I should be able to swap, get this, just get this swapped out. Yep, and then you wouldn't spring out, so I'll just pull all that out. And should be able to get his blade out. Let's come pay this new blade. We have to uh, adjust that spring till it's sprung out. So we've got, we've got the bit with the circuit board in. And we just put the two halves together. And we have one restored key fob. That's one down, one to go. Right, so we've got two restored key fobs. Mm, retract and close exactly as they should. And there's just one more thing, as Colin Bow would so often say. And we've got these stickers, these Citroen stickers. So it's the finishing touch.
got these off eBay for, for a couple of quid now. You can see on the back it's, a, it's actually a 3M. So, if it's not the, the original part, it's, it's definitely OE. Or co good quality aftermarket. There we go. That's it. Now we just peel off the backing paper now. I got that as, as a reference. And should just fit straight in. So if I pack of paper for this. Still, try the, the knife blade. There we go. Oh, once again, get this. Right way up, there we go. And that is the two key fobs restored. So time to test them out on the car. Okay, now only one of these remotes actually work, so we'll try it out. Yep, remote unlocking's working. And it locks as well. And um, we'll test the light bulb. Sometimes it works. It so sort of hit and misses the light bulb, but it locks and unlocks. That's all that matters. And then, because I've used the key blade, which I'm just a matter of uh, putting in. Yep. Yeah. Just make sure mobilise all. Yep. Yeah. So got a fully working key. So I'm gonna wrap it up for this little video. So remember actually this this, this type of fob it fits other models in the Citroen range, I think like C5 and the C8. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And you know what put your questions and comments. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.